Yo, this is crazy to me. Check this out. So I have lots of stuff that I need to do, but can't because a lot of stuff that I need to do requires my voice. And I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I have laryngitis. I wasn't aware of how much I relied on my voice. Without my voice, just everything that I love to do becomes very hard. In fact, I had a whole other video planned instead. How important is your voice? Now, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. First things first, laryngitis is when your vocal cords become swollen and yes, they look like female genitalia. <laughs> now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the episode. Good damn, females. Your voice is very important, and of course not everyone is lucky enough to have a voice in the literal sense, but if you live all of your life relying on your voice and then all of a sudden you lose your voice, you can expect a huge lifestyle change. Your voice lets you communicate things like your ideas, your goals, your morals, your intentions, and hell, you even need your voice to laugh. Well, in some cases. To put it simply, your voice is pretty important for communication. Alright, so your voice is very important and without it, you're limited in many ways. But is it needed? What about the people that permanently have no voice? What are other ways to communicate? Now, it gets a little complex from here because someone can become mute for a bunch of reasons. Such as... Problems with organs like vocal cords, lungs, mouth, etc. Brain injury specifically to an area on the frontal lobe. Being deaf and never properly learning language. And also selective muteness, which is a person choosing to not speak again most of the time due to painful psychological events. All in which make for their own challenges. As far as other ways to communicate, I'm sure that most of you guys know about sign language or maybe even text to speech applications that will help you adjust to what's around you. And though we should be very grateful for these inventions, let's look at the reality of things. How many of you guys understand what this means? How can I expect to adjust what's around me when this, if I'm giving it justice, is supposed to mean hot sandwich? And most sandwich artists wouldn't know that. Now, what about text-to-speech applications? Well, according to a 2014 article posted on VentureBeat.com, Stephen Hawking's text-to-speech application types one word per 30 to 60 seconds, meaning that sentence that I just said would take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes to type. But let's not lose perspective here. Yes, yeah, Stephen Hawking's might be the worst case scenario because not everyone who is mute is also paralyzed. And of course, any alternative over nothing, right? But I really just want to drive the point of not only how important your voice is, but also how easy it makes your life. All right, so voice is both important and convenient, but there are alternatives. Got it. But creatures like ants have complex communication without sound. Why are other ways so much harder than voice speech? The answer to this question is very simple. Social design. Again, ants have a very complex communication system that doesn't need sound, and it's because they communicate using smells and strength in numbers. It's like if you see a crowd of people and they all smell like food coma, then you know that there is food over there. But as much as I'd love to go into how cool bugs are, this isn't a video about bugs. So check out the video I did on cockroaches, link in the description or on screen. Now, to put our social design into perspective, let's use doorknobs for example. These things are now obsolete. Why? Well, because next to door handles and levers, they aren't as easy for everyone. They're very hard to use for people with dysfunctions like arthritis, cerebral palsy, and nerve damage. They're also hard for some kids to use, and of course, they're even hard for pets to use. What? I love when Scootums opens my door and sneaks into my trash and leaves dirty, nasty trash all over the place for me to pick up. I think it's quite adorable, actually. Oh, Scootums, come here, Scootums, come here, who's a good boy? Oh, yeah, okay, stay. Sure, everything has its pros and cons, but every pro and con has its own weight. If everyone were voiceless, restaurants, stores, and just about everything else would be designed a whole other way. We would focus our designs on our other main senses like sight, touch, and hearing. It's my guess that most things would rely a lot more on pictures and buttons would be used for everything. But even then, not everyone is created equal. What about those who are blind? 
How would they be able to use things that rely on pictures? And what about those with dysfunctional arms? How would they use things like buttons and such? Pleasing everyone is a very tricky task. It's why most of the time you'll find that social design will favor the majority. Simply put, when the demand for it grows, so will the supply. Hmm, so social design plays a huge part in the choices that we make, whether if we like it or not. Very interesting, but I can't help but to wonder, why are higher pitches harder to speak? Okay, this is the part that I'm most excited for. Now, in order to answer this, we must take a look at how our vocal cords work. There are a lot of linked parts with your vocal cords, but what's important to know is that your vocal cords are two tissue flaps that are located in your larynx, which is right about here, right past your Adam's apple. And yes, ladies, you have Adam's apples too. All it is is a part of the neck bone that angles out. It's just that yours is a lot smaller than males, but I promise you that it's there. Anyhow, now these tissues vibrate, and if you take two fingers and gently pinch your neck, you can easily find where these tissues are vibrating, which is crazy to think about, seeing as your vocal cords are no bigger than the size of a dime. So your vocal cords vibrate, changing the air leaving your lungs, and with the help of things like your tongue, jaw, and lips, you have sound. The higher the pitch, the faster the speed your vocal cords are vibrating, like this. I just want to pause the video to really admire how incredible that is. If someone asks you to teach them how to drive a car, that's no issue, right? But how do you teach someone how to vibrate their vocal cords at different speeds? How do you teach someone how to move their tongue, lip, and jaw muscles? And our bodies just do this with almost no instructions. If you're not doing it manually, then who is? Mind blow. So when your vocal cords become swollen, it makes it harder to correctly vibrate your vocal cords at faster speeds. Very cool. I'm really glad that this happened actually. I think it's cool to watch- Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I'm sorry for all the interruptions, but before we end this episode, I must know. If your voice comes from your lungs to your vocal cords and out your mouth, does food go through your lungs? Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. In fact, that's very dangerous. You see, your throat splits into two routes, one that goes to your lungs and the other that goes to your stomach. And when food and whatnot passes through your throat, what's called an epiglottis blocks entry to your vocal cords to make sure that food and drinks go down the right route. And if you gently pinch your neck again and swallow, you can feel all this in action, but accidents do happen. Have you ever heard of it went down the wrong pipe or I choked on my own spit? Most of the time, this is when liquid meets with your vocal cords. It causes you to cough to try and get it all out. And thankfully we have this design because unwanted things in your lungs is what causes things like bacteria buildup or what's commonly called pneumonia. And it also can throw off your oxygen supply that can lead to death within minutes. Crazy stuff, I know, but last quick fact. Have you ever said like a word or a sentence while burping before? Well, those with damaged vocal cords can also speak the same way. How? Well, your vocal cords make sounds from your lungs, and again, it uses the help from your tongue, jaw, and lips to form the sounds that you want. Now, your burp does the same thing, but it makes sound from the gases in your stomach. But unlike your vocal cords, it will always be monotone speech because you can't control the pitch of your burps. The human body is mind-blowingly complex. Oh, no, no, not again, no, no! Mind blown! Ah. Well, good to know. I guess we can end this episode now. Mind blown! <laughs> Very cool. I'm really glad that this happened, actually. I think it's cool to watch the value of things change as you get older. I remember being a kid and trying to lose my voice on purpose just so that I can sound funny and make people laugh, but this time around, things were much different. I had meetings, film shoots, and interviews that I had to cancel just so I can rest my voice. And if you're curious to know why my voice is so deep right meow, it's because removing all excitement is the only way that I can be understood at the moment. But 
And this whole experience has really made me realize what privilege it is to even have a voice. And I think that's something that we should all be aware of. But to conclude that, today I have one simple question for you. Do you know sign language? Cast your vote by clicking the question that should be in the top right corner and it now has live results. And if you're on mobile, feel free to cast your vote in the comment section. But now that the episode's over, I want to encourage you all to come follow me on Twitter and Instagram. At Seth Stuff is my handle. And I want to give a huge thanks to Jeff Steitzer. His voice work on the Halo series was pretty integral to my childhood. And he was the one that provided this voice line. Mind blow! Oh man, it gives me chills every single time. But lastly, I hope that you all found something interesting about your vocal cords today. But Whatever the case may be, remember to always feed your curiosity.